July the 28th, 2021. Guys, uh, you're looking at the sun. This is uh, from the SDO. It's giving us Earth-facing images. And we've you're looking at, in this yellow era, the filament release from yesterday. And we've had a second one today and about three small ones, but one major one. And they're all Earth-facing. And it's kind of gave us a halo uh, explosion effect when we look at the other satellites. But first in the era is the one from yesterday that we saw tracking towards Earth that's supposed to be here tomorrow night around 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern. Now, they have not picked up the new one yet. To be honest with you, back during the administration before last, a lot of money got taken down from the different uh, space programs as far as Solar Dynamics Observatory, SOHO, Lasco, all the above. And, and I've, many of you have also seen a decline in the updated information coming in. But no, it is what it is. And we've got, at least they haven't turned off all the satellites that gives us some clue uh, that we can visibly look at and see what's going on. But again, the CME, we've got one scheduled for tomorrow night around 7 p.m. Eastern. That Again, that's a plus or minus seven hours of the window of opportunity. Now, in the top, there's another filament I want you to watch today as I play this forward. You're going to see a secondary filament release. First, there was one on the bottom left from yesterday. Look at the top center. And you're going to see lightning bolt effects coming from just to the right of that. Watch, you'll see a couple, and then the finally one reaches all the way over right there to the tip of that filament and releases it. Then you see a secondary explosion, guys. When that filament releases, you see the shadow of it, and then you see another um, explosion that is on the surface of the sun, and it's called a hydro flare. In other words, all of that filament does not uh, get thrown into the into space. The sun's gravity grabs part of that, picks it up. Now watch under the surface as that thing erupts. That when that collapses back to the surface, the part that is gravitationally captured and pulled back in, that hydro flare explodes and it creates, a, again, a secondary explosion that all the satellites pick up. In other words, you have the filament release, bam, it comes through, then as, again, the filament, re the secondary explosion, the hydro explosion uh, releases, it feels that too. And you can actually see the satellites are rattled just a hair. Now, for some reason, I'm not sure, the, this camera used to be active, but at least we have active still shots. And if you notice in the bottom left, there's three different colors with today's date on them. And that's because it, they're using three out of 12 cameras on a satellite called the Solar Dynamics Observatory. And the three different filters combined, guys, gives us an excellent view of different things. In the very top of this, there's a blue opening, and that is called a coronal opening or a coronal hole, and that's where you get increased solar wind speed. But uh, in the dark brown, very dark brown areas, those are filaments, and once they connect either on one end or the other, you get that release. Now, this is very uh, telltelling here on SOHO, Alaska uh, C2, that uh, this is an Earth-facing event. As a matter of fact, there were about four of them today. And you're going to see all of them in a halo effect. Also here on the 28th, also SOHO, but a much wider image of Lasco C3. Normally you would call that a full halo effect because it would be from one explosion. But these were four back to back. And by the way, that's Mercury pulling in to the right over there. Seems like it got a uh, welcome salvo. Now Venus is to the left. It's so close to the sun that we cannot see it in this image. By the way, that blue circle is an occult or disc to block the sun or block the glare. But this is a telltale stereo ahead, C-O-R-2. And uh, this is behind the Earth in orbit. So it's showing the explosion going exactly towards our planet. Notice today's date at the top. This is July the 28th. Stereo A is here in the orbit behind Earth, which is here. B is in front of it, but in the red is A. Now, two of the satellites, the SDO and SOHO, give us Earth-facing perspective. 
but A is to the left. So when you saw that blast out of stereo A, definitely earth facing this way. But that's just, again, I remember back in the peak of Solar Cycle 24, back several years ago to where stereo A and B were up. You could get all the images and it was very easy. But notice Mercury where it's at. You saw that coming towards the sun. But Venus is not far from getting close to being or facing when we talk about that magnetic connectivity. But here's one of the things that's happening if you guys are feeling bad. This is a three-day uh, chart and today we started getting an very sharp increase in solar wind speed from 320 uh, is the average up to 525 541 and this is not from a cme this is from an opening in the sun that allowed the solar wind to escape the magnetic canopy but if you look at that 542 530 and those averages guys you are looking at very high solar wind speeds 542 kms or kilometers per second is 1,212,000 miles an hour. Imag you can't even imagine it. The human mind cannot fathom that speed. I don't care what you do. But uh, when it hits our shields that have been weakened since the end of Solar Cycle 24, then it affects our planet. And that's why I'm always concerned about tectonic plate activity, extreme weather conditions even though we know all of this weather is not exactly natural but when you see that um, it just reminds you of the magnificent power of our creator imagine wind speeds solar wind speeds not just your earth wind speeds but solar wind speeds that contain uh, so many protons that are so are solar energized they're very powerful. And God created this planet with the shields to protect us from this. But every 11.8 years, the shields get weaker. That matches the sun's binary twin, Jupiter, many called Nibiru. It, and that uh, regulates the cycles of our, uh, our solar cycles. So as Jupiter gets closer, the solar cycles increase. As it gets further away, they decrease. That's God's perfect balance until it's interfered with. The guys, uh, kind of a hard video to do. I got my mind on other things like one of my favorite bands that we talked about before. And uh, I sit here and think about it much longer. I'm going to have to pick up my guitar and play some, some kind of blues that tribute to that Texas style. But um, I... My first job is to let you guys know what's going on. So as you saw the solar wind and speed, uh, speed increase this morning, for, for you and me and other people that are affected by that, uh, that's what's going on. And it's going to continue for the next several days because of these multiple explosions. But we're watching it, guys. You watch it uh, again. My wife, Tina, has an excellent new recipe on her channel at Tina's Country Kitchen on YouTube. Check it out. So heads up, be safe.